Okay, so today we are going to discuss about uh, book selection principles. In library management, uh, we have completed uh, the first unit. And the second unit, we are going to start with how we are going to select book okay, for our library. We are working as a librarian. Let us assume that we are working as a librarian in a college or something or in a public library or whatever it may be. We are working as a librarian and we want to select books, right? So how do we select books? There are certain principles to select books, okay? And we will see what those principles are. Because whatever book you purchase to the library should be used by the users. That is the ultimate aim, right? But if you are selecting books which is not relevant, means no one will come and use the books, right? So whatever we want to... Uh, purchase for our library which should be relevant to the user community so we will see there are certain principles for selecting these books so we will see what these principles are actually okay so the first is uh, selection of materials for a library requires sagacity adoritness and attentions to people's need for everything from books and periodicals to film recordings you see this uh, two different words sagacity Adrotiness means, adrotiness means what do you say? It is cleverness. Okay, it is cleverness. Okay, it requires uh, cleverness and it requires uh, skills and requires to understand the needs. That is very important. So, these types of, the type of library is a major factor that influences selection. That is true. Type of library. Public library, the user will be diverse. In academic library, only the academic institutions, whether school, college or university. In special library, only the particular institution, let it be ISRO or let it be All India Radio, let it be Hindu newspaper or Indian Express newspaper, only that particular members are going to use. In public, the audience or the community are different. In uh, academic setting, the community is different. So, the type of library is a major factor that influences selection. That is true, right? As a good selection, you should have substantial tolerance and flexible attitude to enable you to the varied needs of users, right? You should have tolerance and flexible attitude because they, the users will have different needs. I am from library science community. I might have required from I might have requirements from library science perspective. So similarly, in university, one might be from botany, one might be from chemistry. So his needs is different. So you see, there is a varied need. So librarian, as a librarian, you need to understand and you need to be flexible. Okay, you need to be flexible and you should have tolerance to enable you to the varied needs, needs of user. Suddenly, layer, suddenly chemistry student will come, suddenly physics will come, suddenly botany will come. So you must understand that everyone has a different requirement, right? So you must be capable of telling dispassionately what is best, why and for whom. Okay, you must be capable, you must be in a position to tell that, yeah, for physics, this is best, for chemistry, this is best, and why also, this is best, why this is best, and you must be in a position to address this situation. At the same time, you should also be aware about your resources, budget, manpower, space, etc., and the constant they would bring in. If the space is less, what is the purchase, what is the point of buying many books? If there is no new racks, how will you stack the books, right? And uh, if the budget is less, uh, if there is no money, if the money is only less like 5,000 or 10,000, how will you move, how will you purchase 1,000 books? It is not possible, right? So depending upon the budget, manpower, and and if you are only the only librarian in the institution without no subordinates and no assistance, will you be able to stack all the 10,000 books, uh, so all the 10,000 books uh, single-handedly? So these are the constraints. So you should see how this concern should affect the process. And selection of reading materials, it's a both arts and science, right? It's a both art as well as a science. So the principles of selections are important that should be given due right, but the needs of the users must be catered to. So as I said earlier, when you are purchasing something to the library, it should be used by the readers. So the needs of the users must be catered. That is the most important objective, okay? So, as I said earlier, different libraries have different kinds of uh, selection policies, right? Have different kinds of user community. Public libraries are known for their diversities, as every one of them is to serve its own community. Anyone can go to the public library and anyone can read the books, right? So, selection principles differ from library to library. Nevertheless, public libraries should cater, cater to material, provides information on social, cultural matters on daily needs of life. 
see public library should essentially uh, consider materials on social matters cultural matters and daily needs of life because every age group all the people whoever uh, everyone can come to the library so primary things is this other than that they can uh, collect according to the diverse needs of the users right academic library has an advantage over public library because the clientele is homogeneous homogeneous means they are classified into a single set heterogeneous means it is a varied classification anyone can come okay homogeneous that is the difference between homogeneous and heterogeneous so who are the users of academic library in the case in the case of school only the school students and the school staff in the case of college college students and college staff in the case of university university students and university staff simple so that means the users are homogeneous they exist to support and promote educational programs academic the aim of academic institution is to promote educational programs right Uh, with each one of them is attached the selection should cater to curricular co curricular research needs of institution so academic library should uh, collect books related to curricular activities co curricular activities and research activities of the institution right but public library should be social cultural matters and daily needs of life special libraries are for specialized users having collections of specialized material to support research programs of their parent organizations like publications reports standards reviews handbooks manuals data books etc so therefore different selection principles have been initiated by librarians or information professionals okay so these are the different selection principles we are going to discuss today that uh, four four uh, stalwarts have given their principles for book selection we will see what are they duris dwis mccolvins ranganathan okay so what is duris principle there is a basic principles which still governs the selection of reading material it was initiated by duri in 1930 to provide right book to the right reader at the right time <coughs> read this see this is the this is the concept of uh, see the phrase see the phrase in quotations read this is the concept of duty to provide right book to the right reader at the right time simple right book to right reader at the right time the re- here the reader is a central character okay a document is right and otherwise in relation to the reader it is to be provided when the reader needs it for use okay when the reader comes and asks for the usage of document you should provide it that is a concept so here who is the central part reader is the central part so the selector should know the readers and their requirement that means who is the selector here librarian librarian should know the requirement of the reader and their usage he should select only that material which caters to information education and recreation needs of the reader so before selecting this according to duri principle the librarian must be knowing the user community very well okay they must know the user community based on the user community's needs and requirements he should select books which caters to their information education or recreational needs the selected material should be procured expeditiously to make available to the user when he needs it knowing the needs of the reader knowing the knowing the documents which can meet is important making the selection of the documents so you see the librarian should know the that, that is a concept the librarian should know the requirement of the reader so the central character is the reader here according to dewey's principle the central character is the reader the selector or the librarian should know the types of user and their requirements simple and he states that to provide right book to the right reader at the right time okay so these are the what do you say points important points of uh, dewey's book selection principle right open minded study open minded the community endeavoring to analyze its desires diagnose its elements um, and provide its wants and satisfy its needs right so you should uh, community who is the community here users are the community so study open mindedly who are the community you have to study identify the community you have to study about them what are their needs what are their uh, requirement you have to analyze them okay and provide for both actual and potential users satisfy the farmers general specific demands as far as possible anticipate the demands which might should come from the later 
so there are two actual and potential users okay so you have to study the study the farmer general and specific demands who is the farmer here actual users are the farmer and uh, you have to study their demands and you have to anticipate them also anticipate in the sense that you have to predict it oh, okay this person is coming means this he is going to he is going to ask for books in this area like that enact suitable standards for judging all books and strive to accommodate them and prepare a common standard okay for judging for purchasing all books and selecting all books from various departments and various disciplines apply criteria intelligently and evaluate contents of the inherent one see you have to uh, apply criteria intelligently okay for example uh, uh, library administration there are lots of authors right lots of authors so how will you apply the criteria intelligently in an academic institution so you will see the library syllabus of our uh, as a university library you will see the syllabus of the library and which library administration book scatters to the syllabus you can purchase those books right so this is why uh, this is how you apply the criteria intelligently there will be lots of authors right you have to choose intelligently based on the requirement right in university you have to cater the syllabus right first syllabus then you can grow for non syllabic other broad areas so firstly after catering the needs of the books uh, pertaining to the syllabus then you can purchase it if uh, budget and resources are space available survey for recognized groups reflecting every class of trade employment recreation which develops a natural instinct so you should identify uh, groups which are recognized based on a survey right so you will identify who needs these books who needs these kind of books who needs uh, who needs library books who needs a physics oriented books so you should create a survey how many users needs how like that you can you should keep a database of that be willing to buy as far as funds permit the works as far by specialist and community leader if the funds permit purchase it just to purchase it be willing to purchase it if the hods are uh, in case uh, our universities if the deans or hods are asking for it means purchase it if funds are there please purchase it specialized books or specialized books. select books that represents any endeavor aiming at human development mental or moral irrespective of the library even in academic library you can select books uh, aiming at human development okay how to improve your memory power how to improve concentration like that anything how to be how to learn good manners these are human behavior right so it will be useful for all categories of human not only in public library if the books if there are good books on those topics you can purchase it even though it is academic library or special library you can purchase it if funds permit okay do not strive for completeness in sets series or subjects unless convenience it is necessary in certain books uh, what do you say there will be part 1 part 2 right there are those for complete parts are called as sets in certain cases only part 2 will be sufficient sometimes depending upon the requirement so you don't think that oh every, every all the set all the part 5 should be purchased all no need for that unless it is required it is not need if only part 2 is essential for that community that is fine if you are unfully unless you are fully convinced no all the parts are useful then only they can understand unless you are fully convinced don't purchase and if you feel only part 3 is fine you can purchase part 3 only so that's why don't strive for completeness unless it is required restrain the unduly aggressive pattern and recognize the inarticulate one this is a very good point actually what do you mean by restrain restrain is you have to restrict unduly aggressive some pattern some users might be short tempered some users might get angry easily so you have to restrict them you have to limit them sir this is the rules this is how this is how this is a policy we have designed for book purchase you will just come and shout so you have not purchased this book that book you cannot satisfy each and every one right so you have to restrict them but recognize the inarticulate one what do you mean by inarticulate that means a person who is not able to express his thoughts clearly okay a person who is not able to express his thought articulate its thoughts clearly but you can't recognize it oh he is trying to say something but he is having some communicative problems that means he is not able to uh share his thoughts clearly you have to recognize those types of users and identify their needs okay aim at getting the best on any subject okay whatever the subject is you have to aim at getting the best okay so in case of poland classification who is the best ranganathan is the best because he is the founder so that is the best so on any subjects you have to aim at getting the best okay but do not hesitate to install a mediocre book that will be read in preference to a superior one that will not be read this is very important 
what happens is in ranganathan in for example in colonial classification uh, ranganathan is the best because he is author he has given everything but if one or some other person has written ranganathan colonial classification is a simple way in a very simple way for anyone to understand you do by that because people will find it difficult to read ranganathan's book because of its varied vocabulary and complex uh, nature so difficult in terminology when some uh, some other author translates or some other author rephrases it in simple english language you buy it because people are going to read that only not ranganathan one so standard books you keep it but you buy this mediocre type of books which will help the community you have to identify that so stock the classics and standard works in alternative editions duplicate the best rather than acquire many okay for example yeah as i told earlier which one is the best you duplicate it instead of what you say instead of uh, purchasing many books you duplicate the best books that means you provide more number of copies for the best books select for positive use a book not only should be simply good but good for something it should do some service like moral values ethic values like how to develop your manners and what is soft skills personality development whatever it is so it should be of positive use right develop the local history collection its items will be sought for in the library that means i think whether you read the news or not in our library in central university of punjab library they are going in our central university of punjab library in our central university of punjab library they are going to develop a separate collection of sikh history okay in recent news whether you read it or not i don't know they are going to develop a separate collection for sikh history so punjab is for sikhs right so the local history collection they are giving importance so wherever you are try to develop the collection of local history right so reference reference from district reference is district from personal bias literacy economic political or religious just because uh, just because you love you believe in god don't purchase books uh, that you uh, you believe that should be equal everything should be equal and everything should be justice right so there should not be any personal bias so these are the 15 principles of dury principles given by dury important points to consider okay the main concept of dury principle is as i told earlier to provide right book to the right reader at the right time please remember this so next we are going to discuss melville device principle okay he states that best reading for the large number at the least cost that means uh, you have to purchase large number of books sir at a simple low cost simple okay best reading for the large number at least cost according to this principle a library should select within the financial resources you are having only 5000 rupees your institution giving you have to you have to purchase as many books as possible but that should be the best reading okay the best documents which may satisfy the information needs of the maximum needs of the users right they are giving 5000 they are giving 5000 rupees <coughs> 5000 rupees okay uh this year to purchase books so 5000 is not a big amount in terms of library right so you need what you have to do is with that 5000 you try to purchase maximum books but all these books if you are purchasing 100 books for 5000 rupees means at least 90 books should be used by the users you should select in such a way so that principle serves the device device that that purpose serves the device principle so first term we will see the three terms differently best reading largest number least cost three important terms best largest least so the first term best is relative you know what is best right it means a document which may be the best in its own field the best that will be read the best of which will good use will be made the best of will answer certain demands So, if you want to learn cl colon classification, if you want to learn, if a user wants to learn colon classification, so Ranganathan is the best. But that the best doesn't mean that it will be read by everyone because it will be difficult to understand. So, some other author who have written it clearly, simply translating or uh, rephrasing colon classification, you can purchase that because it will be served. 
to the user community so the best that will be read in terms of best that will be read also so this book will be read more than colon classifications ranganathan right it will be good use and best and it will uh, it will answer certain demands okay the best documents are those which satisfy just the demands of user require recreation knowledge and study simple the second part is the largest number you know what is large right maximum refers to the users of the libraries needs specified or unspecified so our selection of document should be to satisfy as many readers as possible the limitations of resources not withstanding so this is possible only when we know the readers and their reading needs so all the principals are saying that you should know the readers and their requirements then only you can get the best books okay the next is last part is least cost so that was i told you a 5000 example right reminds us of the budget the conversational rate acquisition of document by gift to exchange some of the methods to save fund some some people will donate like some old students or something they will donate books to the library in that case you can get it you can acquire it because they are free of cost so you should keep the budget in mind based on the budget you have you have to purchase the best books right the principal expects us to be careful in our selection and economical in our purchases to ensure optimum satisfaction to the maximum number of readers so we have to be careful in selection because we are having low budget okay but we have to purchase in such a way that every book should be used by the reader so this is the main purpose of this particular principle so next one is mccolvins <coughs> principle so mccolvins principle is demand and supply theory it was given in 1925 so he states that book in themselves are nothing he states that book as a book it is nothing simply it is nothing they have no more meaning than the white paper upon which they are printed unless they are made serviceable by demand so so mccolvin mccolvin says that mccolvin says that mccolvin says that books are nothing books in themselves are nothing that means they are just they are just information they are just information printed in white paper and kept in a rack that means the books are nothing unless when they will be useful unless they are made serviceable by demand unless when someone asks for them unless when some user demands for that books then only that book becomes valuable or else that book is nothing that is what mccolvin says that theory is called as demand theory the book book is the book is useful only if it is demanded by someone if it is not demanded it is nothing it is just kept on the library shelves means it is nothing according to mccolvin right so here you see this is called demand supply theory this is called demand and supply theory the term supply refers to the availability of reading material in all its varieties right supply means availability the book should be available okay demand book demand demand on the other hand expressed and unexpressed information needs of the user so i demand i demand i infer i demand this book i need this book right so i don't need this books that means it is it is uh, unexpressed this this author i don't need and this author i need so that is demand supply means in this author because in this in ranganathan you are having 20 copies but uh, what do you say but another version which is in simple language you are having only two copies that means the demand the demand demand here is i want uh, simple ex simple explanation author with in simple language not the complicated ranganathan's one right example that means uh, demand is not for me for me the demand is not ranganathan okay but the supply here is very large for ranganathan it's very large 20 copies right availability is 20 copies but for me the demand is not that majority of the users they want simple language means here the demand is not met okay the supply is not met because only two copies are there many users are coming okay so you should understand the demands of the user and you should keep the supply accordingly so this theory states that demand and supply supply is nothing but the availability demand is it is expressed and unexpressed it is a requirement of the user that is the demand 
so it advocates the selection of those documents which are demanded by the users for their information right i demand this author only i need this author only simple okay fine this is mccollins principle so coming to rengnathan's principle rengnathan didn't give any what is it any separate principle for book selection the five laws we all know what is five laws right the five laws can be adopted to book selection principles right so what is the first law books are for use so it makes us obligatory that those documents should be selected which are of use to the clientele of a particular library so books are of books are for use means so books should be selected in such a way they should be used to the user see clientele is also a user name another name for user clientele patron client users all are same only all are synonymous only okay and depending upon the context they will use the terminology so books are for use means books should be selected in such a way that it should be useful for the readers simple while selecting the documents present potential requirement of the users must be kept in view now what is the second law every reader his or her book so it directs a selector to cater to the informational needs of all users of the library the subject or the language or the style of expression of the document should be selected should be in accordance with the requirement of the user as i said earlier for column classification i prefer a simple simple language right instead of rengnathan's technical language i prefer single language so that should also be you kept in mind so then only i will take if i if if, if anything is simple i will easily take it right if anything is complex uh, i'll find it difficult to read it so this should be kept in mind so every reader his or her book so when column classification if, uh, if for me for example i am saying for me if i am the user if there is ranganathan and there is another one in simple language for me my book is the simple language so every reader his or her book my book is simple language column classification not ranganathan column classification right so this should be kept in mind so this guy comes he prefers only simple language simple like that so this guy comes he prefers only original source there are some people who prefers only the original original author for column classification they prefer only rengana the original not others simple it depends upon the requirement okay so if my book is simple language another person book is original source that is rengana then so his book is different my book is different so this context to book selection principle every reader his her her book so majority so you are, so far if there are diverse users many users you have to determine so which users require uh, which kinds of books for me simple language another is original source for me technical for another one is technical language simple like that so according to the requirements which has most majority you have to purchase according to the budget right so if 60% or if 60 60% of the students prefer simple language means so 60% of the fund should be allocated to purchase books in simple language instead of original one 20% you purchase for books in original like column classification right ranganathan's one third law what is the third law every book its reader it is opposite suggests that all effort should be made to put to those documents of value which has been selected in anticipation of the needs of you you are purchasing books in the anticipation that readers will definitely take them readers will definitely use them so you have to select it carefully okay based on this principle okay and however some of the basic principles and policies from the five laws are given below what are they procure as exhaustively as possible only selective representative documents in the area of umbrella region in the interest of the library so we saw what is umbrella right apupa pattern okay we discussed that right alien umbrel penumbrel umbrel means which is relevant okay okay umbrel means which is relevant we discussed this right and now uh, what do you say information retrieval and story we discussed this topic so if you go to if you go and check that you will understand what is umbrel umbrel means relevant relevant region of interest so you should procure exhaustive exhaustive means a vast collection in the relevant region entering into agreement of coordination with institution sharing similar interest yeah that is good actually when another library or another institution having the same set of interest like you you can enter a cooperative agreement like resource sharing or something like that you collect this part and i will collect this part we will share our resources so that's kind of agreement depending as much as possible on inter library cooperation to meet the information needs in penumbral region of the interest of the library penumbral is 
uh, they are relevant but not wholly okay so you go through again the apupa pattern okay to understand what is umbrella penumbral and alien okay so so research sharing so first you give criteria to the relevant only so then you give uh, criteria to which are non relevant which are non relevant but sometimes they may be useful okay that means uh, you don't need to purchase that another library might purchase that you can get uh, you can form an agreement and you can share resources from that inter that is called as interlibrary cooperation for penumbral interest right for the purpose of procurement whenever feasible whenever there is an opportunity follow the preferences exchange purchase grades part of the document gifts prefer micro form to a macro form it serves a purpose right when a part of the document is available prefer it to the whole part as i said earlier instead of purchasing a seven parts if one part is available just purchase it okay no need to go for entire set unless it is necessary so these are the this is the reference which is used to prepare this particular presentation go through this for a detailed uh, overview so thank thank you